All right, let's go ahead and over engineer this effect. Gonna drag in a fusion composition, hop in a fusion. And here we got two images. We got the, the girl, some AI generated image I got from Google, or Google search. And we got the skull. So I'm gonna merge the skull over the girl right here. And I'm just gonna use the, turn it down the opacity. I'm gonna just bring down the size, just kind of line up the features a little bit. So size up, line up the mouth and the eyes a little bit. So that that kind of works that the jawline doesn't work. Doesn't make any sense. But you know what? Let's let just for the fun of it, let's just let's let's mask it. Let's do let's do a mask. Now when you're masking and the images are two different sizes, you might get some some weird effects. But let's let's do that. Plug it here so we get see what I'm talking about. But now at least we can see what's what's going on here. If you hear a kid in the background, sorry about that. I got a I got a baby. I think they're are uh, they playing some something. So there we go. Yeah, it ain't perfect, but sue me. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's turn this opacity back up to 100%. Wow, that looks awful. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add this ellipse mask right here. Plug that into the mask input. And now we got this. So kind of like the the magnification effect that, that I saw on that um, original shrimp video. All right, let's kind of go overboard with this. I'm going to add a... Instead of, try to add a, a zoom blur. See what that does. Um... I don't like that it's auto arranging my stuff. Don't do that. I hate that. Okay, so zoom blur. Let's turn that up. Something kind of crazy like that. And then what I'm gonna do next is connect this. So we got that kind of cool, but I just want it around the edge, not the entire thing. Let's also add a a prism blur. Turn up the aberration distance so I can have that little color thing going on. Alright, so I'm gonna do I wanna connect this here as well. So we have that effect like right on the edge. Nice. So let's add a transform node right here. And I'm gonna plug this in the transforms input, not the mask. So now the transform node can control this. I'm gonna reset the center on the ellipse that way the transform in the center lines up because we don't want this like up here and then the transform is transforming it from down here so let's just have everything in the center like that that works and now to get the effect that i'm going after i'm actually going to have to duplicate things so let's copy these two nodes Control c and i'm going to do paste instance so Control shift v i'm going to plug that onto here and now it's way too big. Something's not right. All right. So this is so this is 640 by 642 by 648. This is 642 by 648. If I come here, this is 1920 by 1080, and that is where our issue is. So let's go to image and do um, custom. And instead of use frame format settings, I'm gonna I'm gonna type my own resolution. So that's six. 642 by 648 and then it's the right size and the transform is gonna follow because it doesn't have a have an image tab all right that's all good i'm gonna plug this into this as well so like like that yeah i'm just gonna bring these bring these down have them separated bring these guys up a little higher for some separation yeah, let's bring the merge the media out down here. All right, now we got that. We're, we're, we need to have this effect just the edge. So I'm going to grab another ellipse. And this time I'm going to bring it like right here. I want to set this to subtract. So now let's look at the prism blur. You can see we have the effect on the inside. So now I just need to, to blur this a little. Wait, not soft edge. There we go turn off controls over here now I can use the size of this to determine where the the blur is so let's go zoom blur turn this down 
actually you know what i think i i think i like it yeah let's keep the zoom blur and the prism blur let's mess around with that turn it all the way down we'll just put let's keep the, the aberration that looks nice we got some weird stuff going on around the edge but i'm not too concerned because we're going to be covering it anyway with the, the ellipse thing so let's go and do that next i'm going to add a background node let's make this red pink yeah let's make it pink you know so just look at the transfer the media out and uh, now we got these things right here let's let's copy these again Control shift v merge it right here and let's bring these further down yeah and now we need to make this um into just uh just the outline so we're gonna right click solid the instance turn that off right click border width the instance and i'm gonna turn up the border width until we get that little edge all right, let's kind of give us like a glass effect as well. I mean, why not? Let's copy these, copy, paste, throw that on. And I'm gonna, you know, let's just, let's just, let's just plug this into it. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, wow, this is, let's, let's hit period. <laughs> and I'm gonna plug this into this. I'm gonna drag this down here and plug it into that. That works. Now I'm gonna make this white there we go and actually it should be behind this but it works so let's leave it as is i'm going to turn the blend down but leave it a little bit foggy what i can do actually maybe is i can add maybe a noise a fast fast noise like merges over it is a fast noise as a mask maybe let's see what that looks like let's turn up the the detail the contrast kind of make it like foggy glass if that makes sense is that I'm, I'm over engineering this thing let's turn on the, the alpha so i can see what's up detail nice amount of detail contrast brightness okay so this is now the mask for, for this background node now, if we look back at it, we should have something that's kind of foggy in some places and not so foggy in the rest. So yeah, like, a, like a foggy glass kind of look. All right, that works. Let's, um, here, where's the zoom blur? Let's, let's, let's the lips right here. I'm going to make it wider, softer, maybe. The zoom blur. Turn down the blur some more. The prism blur. I'm trying to figure out what works best for this. And which one is missing things? I'll just turn off the zoom blur completely. That's the prism blur, right? Aberration strength. A fair bit. And the zoom blur. Blur type, realistic, blur amount. Oh, okay. So turning it up kind of lessens the effect. Okay. I can live with that. And there, there's my kid knocking, knocking at the door. All right. So we got our original transform here. Let's just name this to XF underscore animated. I'm going to be animating this. Just turned on a fan because it's getting, it's getting hot in here. All right, so all of this follows, and you can see the little blur it, blurring aberration effect going on. That's pretty dope, but it's only affecting the skull. It's not affecting her skin or anything. That is pretty dope. Nice. I, I like how this is turning out. Now, let me, let me, let me save this. So, skull... Um, X-ray. All right, this looks like this looks like hell. You should organize your work. Don't don't do what I do. 
and um I think yeah what's left let's have the skull let's do oh, color correct and maybe we do um pre-divide post multiply that's necessary because if that is off let's say i i mask this right here and then i switch this to like a blue oh it's only affecting what's inside the mask so it doesn't matter well it's a good um habit to pre-divide post multiply what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn the I'm gonna add just like a a little bit of redness to it like a, a blood type of look i'm gonna turn the saturation up i'm gonna get the some contrast in there get a little bit darker let's see more con uh, less contrast maybe now let's do shadows and turn down the gamma there we go a little bit and back to master a little saturation that red effect just a little bit less all right i think that is fine so that i over engineered this thing but i like the way that it's turning out all right so now let's dive into animation Let's go. So we got our, our transform or an transform thing here. We're gonna go to say frame 10, and let's put keyframes on size and the center. Now we're gonna go back to zero. I'll turn the size all the way down. Here, good. Let's just smooth this out. And let's not well, let's let's take our center keyframe. So it starts in the center, and then by frame 10. Let's move it over here. Select this and kind of give that a turn so it does that. All right, and let's push let's push these out a little bit. So it's still moving a little bit after that it has sized up. Turn off the size. Got the center right here. Let's so let's get it moving at the start and it comes to a slow stop. So. So a few frames in, we're gonna have it move up a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Let's smooth this out. So the animation is it's more smooth. All right, um, just had a, a keyframe here. Let's remove this keyframe. And here, I'm gonna maybe have it zoom across over here. And from here, I'm gonna add a size keyframe. When it zooms across, I'm gonna have it maybe stop at her, her eye, and kinda like do that. It gets smaller. Look at the, the size. So, right here, sit. do something, come on, like that. Okay, so, the animation a little bit more snappy. So, like that, and then turn the center on again. Okay, so it goes here. I'm gonna have it travel. Let's even add a little bit of curve to the movement right here. And uh, gonna have it just dart back around, like down here to the center, and. Uh, from this point, I'm going to add another size keyframe to here. I'm going to have it get massive so we can see all of the little skeletal bits. So let's have it a little wrap like circle animation right here. And then it comes down like, like this. Okay, 
Let's smooth these keyframes out. Gradual stop. Like. Bring it like here. Just trying, trying to work out, work my, work my way through the animation. It's nothing too, you know, elaborate, but it gets the job done. I think. Let's bring this out further. And. Uh, Before it ends, I'm just gonna like right here, hit the size, and I'm gonna bring this all the way down to zero. So now let's have a look at the size key frames. So from here to here, I'm gonna have that smooth that out to T, lock it, ease in, ease out, and then from here to here, I'm gonna do this, have it like do a little bounce up, and then it comes down like like that. Bounce a bit, get a bit bigger, like something like like that. So another keyframe here to there we go. I think the starting is a bit slow, so let's go back to the start and select it, to make that a bit more snappy. So. There we go. So we got our got our animation done. All right. Thanks for watching. I am. I'm gonna get off this thing.